championship game, I remember uh, we had just won the game before that, right? We was bumping. We lost by like one or two points. We was bumping. I uh, just couldn't get it right. I feel like we was tired. Not saying the other team weren't tired, but I don't know fuck up. We was just tired. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it really came defense for real. You know, it was getting a lot of easy buckets, a lot of easy layups. And I remember they had this one, you know, he wasn't even shit quick, fast. Fast, fast ass dude on their team that, you know, he was getting to the cup. But they had they had one dude, the tall, tall dark skin dude, the bald dude that kept shooting. Yeah, three. the black dude. Didn't hit one time. He, he only made three. He made one. I mean, he only made like one. Three. And that, I mean, yeah, that wasn't what that mattered, mad. though. No, facts. He made the one that mattered. That shit broke my heart. My heart. well-known alias production now what if i told you i will be recording alias hoops mumbo sauce edition this is what they call a college or no a high school real life it's a high school this is what i'm they... bald now now well I, I i redid it oh so it's okay. Yeah, that's the homie McKell. Good guy. Known him for a while now. He asked me to do some recording for his team, DC Mumbo Sauce, for a league I knew nothing about. But hey, I can't beat practice. A little disclaimer. The footage was a little shaky at some points, but you get the bigger picture. Now, to the footage at hand. I'm not gonna lie to you. The game itself was actually intense. At the first half, you can see DC Mumbo Sauce against this alias team I did not know. Pull away very easily. As you can see, Boney right here getting the rebound, going back up for it. Easy buckets. Yeah, this team had a few shooters on it. Yeah, it is what it is. As you can see, we have Malik right here getting the block running now. Good pass to Richie, to Tim, for the open J. And what I did realize was we had some shooters on this team, for sure, for sure. This team was full of shooters. And along with team, a team full of shooters, we had some players that could put the ball on the floor and had a nice soft touch at the rim. It just felt so good to watch basketball all over again. And along with that, this team could play defense and run the floor at a high pace. Now, you couldn't beat this. I just knew for a fact this team was going to win. As you can see, Tim pulling up for three easily. Tim actually was a, a very vital point in this. I'm not going to say if it was a win or loss or not, but he was a vital point in this team itself. Now, they did have, the opposing team did have a few players that could get to the cup. It is what it is. At the same time, though, you know, we came back and we put the ball in the ground. As you can see, Richie right here giving us the free throws. The first quarter, second quarter, and as you can see, we are up by 14 going into the third. Easy win. It should be a breeze, right? Well, as much as you thought it was a breeze, I thought it was a breeze. And apparently, these boys wasn't going out like nothing. So, as you can see with the long rebound, the outlet pass, and the tough lay, they were back at it. I'm not sure what kicked into these boys' head, but they were playing defense. As you can see, we didn't stop as well, 
but at the same time, as you can see, Boney right here with the loose ball. No foul call. I thought it was a foul, but hey, guy right there got some bounce. And I don't know what got into these guys, man, but they were able to finish at a high rate. And something about us just wasn't clicking. As you can see, Richie here with the air ball. Once I seen that, I knew something was up. And then on top of that, they were finishing at the cup, at the line. It just smelled like panic in the air. A 14-point lead gone, 53-49. Now, we were able to get back. We were able to get back. As you can see, Boney just hit the three right here. But we had to foul at some point to get the ball back. And what did they do? They didn't convert. I tell you that. They did not convert. But we didn't neither, unfortunately. So it was sad to say, man. But with turnovers and just loose balls, we lost the game 61-56. Every season since 2016, 2017, we be up, and then we lose a game. Three and one, we good, we good. Into the next one next week. Y'all see, I'm fat. I'm getting back though, I told y'all, we getting back. It's gonna be okay. Now look, if you enjoyed this, all I need is a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you feel about this content. It's well known alias, man. Either you know me or you don't. Checking out.